Influenza B is another type of flu virus that's commonly circulating. So there are two main types that infect humans. Influenza A, which we're normally associated with causing pandemics, but also causes seasonal epidemics each year. Then there's flu B, which is its related cousin, which is also a human pathogen, causes very similar disease to flu A, but it's also responsible for seasonal epidemics, not pandemics, but seasonal epidemics. So it's still a very important human pathogen, can actually hospitalize people just like flu A can, so it causes a lot of disease, a lot of mortality, and is an important pathogen to vaccinate against and protect against. And just like flu A, we don't currently have universal vaccines that can protect against it. Instead, these viruses evolve gradually over time, so we need to vaccinate every year to keep up to date with those. So this represents another step for HVivo in progressing the human challenge models. So we're keen to diversify and produce different challenge models to meet further customer needs. So a few weeks ago, we announced human metanumavirus model. And now this is a new model again with, with influenza B coming out. So it's a very important stage for us in having a brand new model available to our clients and meeting further client demand. To develop a new challenge model in viruses, firstly, what we need to do is identify a seed virus that's appropriate for use. Once we've done that, we then can test it, make sure we think it's going to be OK and it grows well. And then we can produce essentially a medical grade version of the virus to produce the challenge virus. To do that, we take the seed virus and we go into a GMP, so good manufacturing practice facility to actually produce this virus and this is what we've now done we've completed this phase which is a very important milestone and then once you do is then you test that virus very extensively to make sure the only pathogen in there is the pathogen that you expect there to be i.e the influenza b virus and it's completely clean of all other pathogens so therefore it is safe to use so that's where we currently are we're in that later stages of the testing phase once we've done that we can then go forward into human characterization testing. And really what that means is we then do a small clinical study to determine what is the lowest amount of virus we can use to get a safe and reproducible infection. Once we then produce that, we can then say, okay, we know how to use this virus going forward and we can do vaccine testing and antiviral testing for our customers.